You're looking at video now from Onion Creek, which saw some of the worst flooding yesterday. Tonight, the city of Austin is trying to keep people out of harm's way. There's a program going on right now to buy out homes in the 25-year floodplain. KITV's Melanie Lofton is live to show us why it's money well spent. Melanie. Yeah, this looks like a typical southeast Austin neighborhood, but in a few years, these homes won't be here. It's going to look more like what we see across the street. Nothing, just trees, vegetation, and grass. The city is forcing the people out of this neighborhood, but it says it's doing it to save their lives. The dead trees, wildlife, and the sounds. You'd think this was a forest until you notice the street signs and roads. You realize this used to be a vibrant neighborhood. We began buying the houses that they were more prone to flood risk. Once bought, they're demolished. It's all part of the Onion Creek buyout project. <laughs> Flooding in 1998 forced the city to evacuate hundreds of families from this area when Onion Creek overflowed its banks. Onion Creek overflowed again on Sunday. We were told water covered the wheels of this 18-wheeler. This time, there weren't too many homes in its path. Just a few the city is struggling to close the deal on. This is a lot of water. Jonathan Bridges lives across the street from homes slated to be bought next. He says it floods almost every time it rains. The buses can't come down here. Like if you don't have a vehicle, the buses can't come down the hill. So like if you got to go to work and get on the bus, that's a problem. It won't be a problem for much longer. There were going to be a park. It's an ecosystem restoration project too. So it will be an open area. There will be no families living there at risk anymore. So far, the city has bought 319 homes. The remaining 165 will cost $33 million. It's a high price the city is willing to pay because you can't put a price on life. Now the city says it hopes to get some federal funding with to pay for all of this. If that funding comes through, the city says this whole project could be done in about three years. Live in Southeast Austin, Melanie Lofton, KITV News.